Hey, you know what I saw this morning? I saw a peak uh, of Reese the PC, sun. Reese yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have that for breakfast. Yeah. I saw a peak of the sun. Yeah, it was this nice, morning. right? I saw yeah, it for is like, it still out? I saw it for like two again? minutes last night, yeah. like before it went down. Um, in some places, it's still out. Okay. Uh, let's check out. We got our live camera. Ah, work. Ah, I see a little blue sky over Listen, there. Listen, beggars can't be choosers uh, right. here, right? I know. I <laughs> Compared know. Compared to where we've been. I know. Downtown, um, yeah. Uh, all right. Mm. Uh, uh, you know what? I don't care. Yes, the sun is out right now. Looks great outside as we're looking at our cameras. Me and Amanda are both like, that looks pretty cloudy all right, right there. But hey, we can hope that we get a few more peaks that uh, kind of filter back in. We'll take this view. Absolutely. Uh, at least enough sunshine will get down uh, significantly more than what we have been experiencing anyway. We see clear skies. Didn't have the fog this morning. Now, here's what's going on in the atmosphere. Kind of an interesting setup here. We don't have much moisture to work with, but a sneaky little cold front is going to come through later on today. It's going to drop our temperatures from near 50 quickly down back down to freezing for tonight, and that's going to lock in a northeast wind that's going to kind of stay put as we go over the next couple of days. This sneaky little cold front is going to cause us a little bit of a cooler setup as we go into the weekend, and as you look off to the south, this is where you're going to see a much more active weather pattern across the southeastern U.S. That's also going to keep our northeast wind locked in, so watch what happens. Pretty interesting in our hour by hour forecast. Temperature zooms up. Southwest wind, right? This is at 2 p.m. Watch as I put the clock back into motion at 8 p.m. That cold front's coming through. Look how the wind direction is changing back to the north here. And then we fall all the way down to freezing tonight. The northeast wind is locked in place. That means highs only in the upper 30s to low 40s for tomorrow. And this isn't just a one day lake breeze. It's probably going to happen all weekend long into early next week. And so that's going to increase our chances for some morning low fog, uh, clouds as well, and temperatures are steadier too with a northeast wind. You don't get quite as cold. You also don't get quite as warm. You kind of stay right in the middle, both daytime and nighttime. So that's why when you look at this extended forecast, you'll see us back to the 40 degree mark Friday, Saturday, upper 30, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Can you guess when the wind shifts back around? Watch what our temperatures do to the south breeze. Wednesday gets us to 46 and then the low to mid 50s back on the way as we head towards the end of next week. So a little bit of some ups and downs to go through here, Amanda, for the beginning of February. All right.